Well, it's still Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can follow us on social media at Plus TV Africa on Instagram and uh, Twitter. And our website is Plus TV Africa.com. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Plus TV Africa. Well, the marathon is a long distance race with an uh, official distance of 42.195 kilometers, usually run as a road race. The event was instituted in commemoration of the fabled run of one of the Greek soldiers, Pheidippides, a messenger from the Battle of Marathon to Athens who reported the victory and the marathon can be completed by running or with a run walk strategy and there are also wheelchair divisions now the lagos marathon will be com coming up on saturday the 8th of february and the runners are all set and ready to go will i be running well the answer is yes i'll be running with my camera and microphones catching interviews and good view visuals for you the viewer well i've got bukola olokpade here on the show and uh, he is the ceo of nilayo sports Quite an interesting name, uh, I must say. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, viewers. Mm. It's good to have you here. Now, uh, let's, firstly, before getting to the marathon, would you want to give us a, a brief info on what Nelayo Sports is all about? Nelayo Sports Management Limited is a company that was um, formed and built into having capacity for sports um, entertainment. Mm. Um, creating unique sporting events and sporting experiences for people. Yeah. Um, well, it's also into sports procurement, yeah. um, sports activation, among so many other things. Sports sponsorship. Okay. And that is actually the um, bedrock of our business. Oh, okay, interesting. Now let's talk about the Lagos State Marathon. Um, you've been there uh, back to back and uh, it's been quite an interesting one and a successful marathon, I must say. But Nigerians would want to know what is the, because someone was asking me in the office, what is the essence of the Lagos State Marathon? Are we not wasting funds on um, running this marathon? I know nobody asked you that. You just felt like asking. <laughs> no, no, for, for real. The, someone the, actually asked. The, well, I mean, so let's educate the person. Exactly. Every, every top city in the world mm. can boast of a road race mm -hmm. that has become iconic and True. that has become a tourist attraction uh, for, for that city. Mm. But for us at Nilayo, when we conceptualized this road race, the Access by Lagos City Marathon, our first intention was to create a lifestyle of elderly living where people, just like um, Mr. Kaudi Akintemi, mm. who does a 10 kilometer on a regular, yeah. will be able to just say, you know, let me go enjoy myself and run and run and see what that does for my body and to my, to my brain. Mm -hmm. And that was the essence, to, to create a lifestyle. Thank God we'll be able to achieve that. There's been a um, growth in running clubs yeah. within Lagos um, in the last four years. So we're very proud of that. Of course, it, go it also goes towards the cliche of enhancing the economic progress of a city. Sure. And in the words of the MD of Access Bank just a few days ago, I read in one of the newspapers, it brings in foreign investment. It okay. creates... Um, a platform for small scale businesses to thrive. Mm. It creates employment. I can tell you for free that the road races that we at Nilayo that we own, that includes Abel Kuta, 10 kilometer, um, that includes the Remo mm -hmm. Ultra Race, and the Abuja one that we're working on that's coming up October 3rd, have always been geared towards creating direct employment, indirect employment, um, quasi employment amongst many things. So yes, it's a tool for empowerment. It's also a tool for entertainment. Oh, a good one. A tool for empowerment and entertainment. Now, um, of course, the cheerleaders will be there as well. And there's also the wheelchair um, section where we'll get to see everybody participating in this one. Some are actually running um, for a cause and some are running for fitness sake. I saw a couple of guys who ran, that was in 2018, and uh, they couldn't even make it to the finish line. They didn't make it halfway. They had to turn back and say, there's no point to finishing this race. We're not going to die on this one. Now, the race is supposed to kick off by 6 a.m.? Six, uh, the 42 kilometer flags off at 6 a.m. Or 6.30 a.m. And the 10 kilometer flags off at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Um, just around Lakey, mm. here. Oh, okay. Now, um, we hear that people are going to be paying, or rather they paid 5,000 for registration. Is there any major reason for that? Is there a reason why people should not pay? Yeah, because most people think they're just supposed to register and um, win the race and win some money, but why do we have to pay? Why would why, why <laughs> do we have to pay? But to answer your question, yeah. the, the Lagos City Marathon, the Access Bank Lagos City Marathon, proud to the, this year's edition, 
was the only labeled race in the world True. that wasn't charging money. Even when you want to run in places like Ghana and Senegal, you where they are not pay. labeled, you pay close to $200. Okay. But from the very first day, ab initial, I had announced at the very first press conference in 2015, 2016, that on the fifth edition by God's grace, people will be asked to pay a token mm -hmm. to be part of this um, wonderful, Marathon. iconic race. Mm -hmm. And this is what we've done. But it goes beyond that. There's also the aspect of the world athletics expecting their labeled races. Don't forget, once your race is labeled, the brand on its own belongs to world athletics. True. And they demand for quality rather than quantity. Mm -hmm. When it was free, so we, used have, we used to have over 100,000 runners. Sure. Right? But guess what we used to also experience? We used to experience people come to the finish area to fight for medals even when they did not <laughs> run. You will see people with medals on their neck still asking for medals. Wow. Because they thought the medal was valuable. I mean, it is valuable to a serious minded runner, mm -hmm. irrespective of the cost. True. But a lot of people felt it was valuable in terms of cost. Mm -hmm. And they'll come there and fight. You see people dancing to Alamide Sheko Wale. Mm -hmm. You cannot do that if you've just finished the 42 kilometer. True. Not humanly possible. Mm -hmm. You know, so <laughs> all sort of runners came. It was fun. Mm -hmm. It was good to see that we were carrying Legosians along. However, at a stage, we needed to be more serious with this race. That has become iconic, sure. not only to Nigerians, but to the world. Mm -hmm. and not only to the Legosians, but to Nigerians and to the world. So um, we had to introduce the token. Successfully so, because as of today, over 35,000 people have collected their goodie bags. True. For us, that is good news. Mm, very true, because I was at um, Testing Balogun Stadium last week on Friday, and I saw a couple of um, runners who still came to register, and I said, okay, even if you're saying people should pay 5,000, people still came out because they wanted to be a part of it, not just because of the money, not just because they wanted to win the money, but also also to support a particular But you course. know, we, just sorry, we, yeah. we, we didn't just impose Price Definitely. Money. We also introduced new incentives. Uh -huh. For example, we've introduced a prize money of 100 female, 100 male, of 50,000 naira. So if wow. you cross the line among the very first 100 female, wow. you get 50,000 for your 5,000. I should run. Uh, you should run. I should run. Is it too late for me to register? <laughs> no, it's not too late. Today, right. the, the closing uh, time for registering is 12 um, today. 12, 12 midnight today. 12, 12 midnight. So I, I think I should just register because I need that, uh, that 50,000. I will surely go, <laughs> it will go a long way. Now, uh, because Valentine is coming, we need to start preparing for that time. Yeah. Now, um, let's talk about the medical angle because if, if you were not present at the marathon, you will not know that a lot of casualties actually um, went down, but the medics were on standby to make sure it didn't get so by didn't get out of hand. Is it advisable or how do you screen the people who come to run health wise and, and, and all? So first of all, we, we, we ensure you sign an indemnity clause that says that you've gone to do your medical checkup. True. It's not humanly possible to check. Um, yeah, 100,000 people, exactly. even 10,000 people. Sure. So what we do is, it is your responsibility. If you're a serious-minded runner, you're responsible for your health, you're responsible for your... Go out, do your checks, come with a, with a signed form, okay. or online, tell us you've done your check, and we'll believe you. However, this race is a very insured race. Okay. Um, I think in the last four years, we've had one or two incidences that insurance was swift mm. at taking care of. Um, but we give praises to God that, aside from the uh, occasional uh, people getting tired mm. and getting lethargic and falling down, and ambulance taking care of their situation, mm. which is common with every race in the world, True. we've not had any major cuts. We thank God for that. Mm -hmm. But we are always prepared. The medical team that we've assembled in the last five years have been amazing, mm. from Dr. Ken to Dr. Kaudi to Dr. Bukola amazing doctors who have taken the lead in ensuring that health-wise, medical-wise, the access by Lagos City Marathon is as solid as any other marathon mm. in the world. Mm. Now, um, as we wrap, uh, wrap up, let's also look at the winners and uh, um, some of the prizes that will be won. We know people are running for different causes and also different categories in this race. We do quickly want to put us through on um, the prize money that will be won in all these categories. Well, cumulatively, the prize money for the um, Access by Lagos City Marathon 
is uh, almost over six hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Um, but what we've also done is to introduce a domestic prize money for the forty-two kilometer, which is to encourage our runners, Nigerian runners, yeah. so that in the next few years we'll be able to catch up with the Kenyans, the Ethiopians, the Eritreans, the Ugandans, um, towards getting a podium appearance. Mm. Last year, Deborah Pam, for the first time, was among the first six uh, runners for female. Yeah. From the first 14, sure. to the, among the first six. six. So you can see that there's a gradual growth mm. um, amongst the young runners because of that encouraged um, prize money. Yeah. But for the 10 kilometer, first, the first prize is, also, is the Care Rio. Okay. Um, Donated, donated by, not donated, sponsored, sponsored by, by uh, Kia uh, Motors, oh. um, from both male and female oh. also. Then from there it trickles down to the 50,000 per runner, oh. the first uh, 100 wow. to cross the line. That's a big one. As, as a wrap up, I'll give you 10 seconds to quickly um, tell us the starting point and the uh, end point of the marathon. The start point for uh, the 42 kilometer it has always been Teslim, um, National Stadium, just across Teslim, Balogu, right mm -hmm. in front of the National Stadium gates. Mm -hmm. And that runs through Western Avenue, through Anthony Oroshikito, Todd Milan Bridge, okay. all the way to um, Eco Energy City, wow. where we have the most beautiful, iconic finish mm -hmm. of any marathon I make bold to say in the world. Wow. For the 10 kilometer, it starts from um, Lekki Runabout by the Ascom Petrol Station there, mm -hmm. all through. Um, like in phase one through the gate yeah. and onto Zumbao, by the way, and to the stretch um, to the All iconic right. finish area. Well, there's a whole lot to talk about when it comes to the Lagos City Marathon. Also, Lagos City Marathon is now the silver the event. It used to be bronze medal, but now silver. We're working towards And one of the very first to attain a silver level in silver four years. Yeah. We can do something decent in this country. Definitely. If people are Definitely. given the opportunity to do it. Well, we would want to talk more about the marathon, but uh, of course, we're out of time. And I'd like to thank you very much for thank coming. Thank you Thank you. Looking forward to Saturday where the marathon will go down. And of course, Looking forward to seeing Kaude Akitemi. Yeah, uh, I'd like to see him run that race and finish because I'll be on his case. I'll be on his case to get the shots. But of course, that's what much you can take today on Plus Sports, on Plus TV Africa, and Modoka and Joku. Do enjoy the rest of your day.